Ladies and gentlemen, your Indiana Hoosiers! Oh, that makes me smile and gives me goosebumps. You may not recognize his name or face, but if you are a faithful fan of IU basketball, you definitely know his voice, Chuck Crabb has been the PA announcer at Assembly Hall for more than 40 years now. Now he's lending that iconic voice to the NCAA tournament when Assembly Hall hosts the first four and first round games this week. Chuck Crabb joining us live from Bloomington. Chuck, it's so good to see you again. I said, um, I wonder if he's gonna share any personal stories about me this morning. <laughs> well, I, I've masked up, I've masked up. I, I wanted to be be good and stay compliant as we start our visits. Now, Angela, uh, there are many things I could say of your time. <laughs> now, and, and I want I, I want uh, everyone to understand this. Angela Gano probably represents the epitome uh, of an Indiana cheerleader, Aww. and and was a tremendous asset to us. Uh, what I'm looking forward to sometime during the next three weeks is seeing during the morning show you again trying to do a, a back. <laughs> Uh, back tuck or a back handspring in heels. Oh my gosh, I'd, I'd break some bones. Let's focus on you because the right. attention is on you handling the public address duties. Give us the backstory. I mean, for someone like me, it's it would be obvious, an obvious choice. But um, how did this happen? Well, certainly uh, with with COVID changing the entire protocol and outlook of NCA activities, um, when. Uh, Indianapolis was announced as the the center uh, point for uh, men's Division One basketball. Uh, they reached out to Purdue. They reached out to Indiana University. They reached out to Butler and, and of course, State of Indiana for the uh, Farmers Insurance uh, Coliseum and, uh, and and made arrangements for our venues to be utilized for games. Uh, I kind of go with the building. Uh, my, my day job, if you will, is um, senior assistant athletic director of facilities. So I've been working with other colleagues, uh, developing the plan for the conversion of our building, uh, all of the different branding that's happening with, with the NCAA. And then I said, by the way, I, I have this other role that I've, I've served for 44 years with Indiana University where I do the uh, house public address announcing and would certainly uh, offer my services to you for that. And they're like, well, we were hoping that went with the building. We just kind of assumed that. So uh, it helps when you have a good friend, LJ Wright, uh, heading up the uh, NCAA Final Four Championships mm. for D1 basketball. And LJ has been a longtime friend from his time as a manager. So um, every, that's how it all came together. We only have about 30 seconds left, but I want to give you the final word here on what you want people to know. I mean, you've been doing this for a long time and obviously having a blast and having fun. Uh, what's your final thought kind of on where we are now? And obviously sad that IU's not in there. Well, it, it's disappointing that that the home team didn't make the field of 68 and, and would be advancing, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll put things in order for next year. That's all we can do right now. And, and move forward. We want the, the uh, fans, and we have a limit of 500 people that will attend each of the six games we host Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We want them to have a very positive experience. Um, I will uh, do the type of announcing that I normally do. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a reporter like Andrew yes. Gano. You know, I, that's what I do. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the cheerleader by any means. I, I, I do a a report of information mm -hmm. so people can enjoy the game. You do a, such a great job, Chuck. We cannot wait to listen to you. And it's thank coming. you so much for joining us this morning. It's so good to see you. Good to see you, Angela. Yes, Thanks so much. We'll look, look forward to seeing you during March Madness. All right. Good luck.